Nulls and paths are very important for creating cohesive movement animations in After Effects. A null object is an empty layer that's used to control properties of another layer, while a path is a collection of anchor points that are linked in order. When you attach a null to that path, the null will follow around each anchor point in a line. You can then parent as many objects to that null, and they will all follow in the same direction. To start off, I'm going to simply animate an object on a path. So I'm going to use the pen tool and draw just a path here. It can be anything you want. Then I'm going to go up to the Window tab and go all the way down to the bottom for the Create Nulls from Path scripts. This will pop up a window that you can then take and dock in your side panel if you want. And I'm going to focus on this last button, which is the Trace Path button. Now before we do this, if you click it, it's going to tell you that no paths are selected. So we need to go down to our Shape layer, find the Contents, and make sure we're at the layer that shows the stopwatch for path. Select that, and then click the Trace Path button. Now you'll notice we have created a null that effectively follows the path we created. Now what's really cool is since we created the null path this way, if we were to go back into our shape layer and change one of these anchor points, maybe move it up here, our nulls path will update to what the shape layer has. And now if I create a new shape and I drag it right over where I want it, then we can take the pick whip tool and parent that to the null, and our shape will follow. When thinking of animating an object on a path, the most basic one I can think of is animating the data line on a graph. So to start off, I imported a PNG image of a graph. I have the pen tool selected. I'm going to draw out our data line. I'm just gonna plot some random points here and end it just like that. I'm gonna take away the fill, and I'm gonna give it a stroke, just like that. Then I'm going to go back and grab the star tool, just like that. I'm gonna go back to our initial shape layer and I'm gonna rename this to graph line, this will be arrowhead. And under the graph line, we're gonna go all the way down to the contents, the shape, and the path, and we're gonna select the path again. And we're gonna go over here to the trace path button and that'll place our null. And I'm just gonna double check to make sure our null is following the line, and it is. With the playhead at the first position, I'm going to move this arrowhead and rotate it. Then I'm gonna take this pick whip tool and I'm going to parent it to the null. And now if we look, we can see that the arrowhead is following the direction of the line. And what we can do is we can actually Go down to the null here, and we can drag out this trace path progress setting, and we can slow it down. So now it looks more like this. And then you can give it an ease too if you want, just to really smooth it out. Perfect. And then we want the line to draw as our arrow goes out. And this is super easy. All we're doing is going back down to the graph line shape, and we're going to this little add button and we're gonna add the trim paths animation. Dropping that down, we're gonna have three settings here, start, end, and offset. I'm gonna drag the end setting all the way to zero and that'll just remove it completely. And then you're gonna notice there's actually some pick whips right here as well. Looking at the trace path progress setting of the null that we've created, I'm going to pick whip the end attribute right here this property and I'm going to pick whip it all the way up to the progress setting on the trace path. And now if I play this back, the trace path will draw the line right underneath our arrow. And since we have this graph null, we can pretty much parent anything we want to this. So if I want to make some text, maybe make it say data, I can then parent that right on top or I guess right behind over here pick whip that to the graph null, and that will follow. However, a strange issue you might see is the, the text box is changing with the line direction. To fix this, all we need to do is simply create a new null. I'm gonna rename this to up orient. And then I'm gonna drag this null, and then I'm gonna use the pick whip and parent that to our existing null. 
However, what you'll notice is this null is still rotating with the other one. And to fix that, we just need to type a little expression. So go to the dropdown for the new null we created, go to down to transform, and then for rotation, I'm gonna hold alt and click on the stopwatch to bring up the expressions. I'm gonna remove what's in there, and I'm gonna type value space minus space parent dot transform dot rotation. The null will stay in the rotation that it has. So I'm going to go to our data text and I'm gonna unparent that from the null and I'm gonna drag that all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna pick whip that to the up orient and now you can see our data text will stay right where it is. So if you have any objects that you need to rotate with the line, you can use the existing graph null or if you need any objects to stay oriented properly like this text, you can then create this new null and put in this expression for the rotation. And I'll have this pasted down in the comment section. You can just copy and paste it. Um, so there we go.